بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر اینڈ کنٹینیو دی ٹاپک اف دی کرنٹ میرٹ سرکٹ سو ان دی پریویس ویڈیو وی کیم ٹل دس پوائنٹ دس واز دی بیسک کرنٹ میرٹ سرکٹ ویئر ا سورس وڈ بی اینی تھنگ وڈ بی ا سورس ا ریفرنس کرنٹ وڈ بی فلوئنگ ا کنٹرول کرنٹ وڈ بی فلوئنگ اینڈ بیس ٹو ایمیٹر واز بیس ٹو کلیکٹر اف وان ٹرانزسٹر واز شارٹڈ اینڈ دین دی بیسز اف دی ٹو واز شارٹڈ اینڈ یو نو واٹ واز دی فینومینا سو آئی آؤٹ پٹ کرنٹ اوور ہیر وڈ بی ایکول ٹو دی کنٹرول اف دی ریفرنس کرنٹ اف بیٹا از انفینیٹ اینڈ اف بیٹا از لارج انف بٹ اٹس ناٹ انفینیٹ سو دی آؤٹ پٹ کرنٹ وڈ بی ایکول ٹو بیٹا اپان بیٹا پلس ٹو ٹائمز بائی ریفرنس وی ہاولریڈی پروو this thing now what could be the biasing schemes not the biasing schemes or what could be the the, 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 the major possibilities of biasing this circuit or you know an exam question how could an exam question be framed so let's say we see those possibilities so the possibilities could be let's say number one I'm doing with the blue color so the source is let's say a VCC a positive biasing source uh, and a positive biasing source and we have a, 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 a resistor through which a current is flowing and then we have this sort of an arrangement we have this sort of an arrangement right yes over here what do you have we don't have anything we don't have anything so uh, this one is your I output which is I see the collector current over here we would have some collector current I see this current the passing through the resistance is the I reference current this one would be again your plus minus VBE1 this one would be again your plus minus VBE2 and what do you have you again have the previous sort of a thing so you have to find out what this is have a look again the same figure the same sort of a figure what do you have i out would be equal to i reference if beta is infinity and uh, beta plus beta upon beta plus 2 i reference if not infinity so the major thing that you have to find it out is this i reference current so what do you do for i reference current so we would just apply a simple kvl if you apply a kvl so starting from this point you have vcc then you have a minus i reference time for instance this is r uh, minus i reference time r then have a look I cannot come in this way because this is the collector terminal this one is the emitter terminal so the collector terminal voltage I do not know then if I come this way around because this is shorted so you have the collector to base the collector to base voltage you know which in this case is for instance zero you don't need to mention it either and then you have the base to emitter so that you know and that is a minus VBE which is a 0.7 volts of course and then let's say this is grounded over here so this is equal to 0 volts so from here you could take out the value of your reference current I reference which would be equal to what VCC minus VBE upon the value of the resistance R yes yes sir so on, uh, on the conditions what do I told you that this should be in the active mode so have a look this is a plus VCC so have a look the plus is connected to the positive terminal the N the, uh, this is connected to the minus terminal so have a look this is uh, this is in the active region of operation so this is one sort of a circuit that could be you could have another figure you could have a another figure that is let's say I'm drawing it with the red color so what do you have in that case in that what would be the case if you have this as your transistor this is a resistor in a similar way emitter and again so have a look now if this is let's say this is let's say the current I output which is equal to I C the current through this resistor is the reference current and 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 what do you have a VBE1 do I need to mention it or no VBE2 and this one is grounded this one is the same this one is I C now what do you have now what do you have if let's suppose let's suppose this is grounded let's suppose that this one is grounded so what do you need to have you need to have the p at a higher potential which means that now you cannot ground this one 
this terminal cannot be grounded now why because if both are grounded then how would be the transistor bias how would be, be reacting in the active mode of operation or any mode of operation so you need to have a you need to maintain a supply across it and that supply maintained would be as such to get it into the active region so if if this one i have grounded then i cannot supply a positive voltage over here have a look if that is grounded then this is a positive voltage so which means the n is at a higher terminal as compared to p so this is not the active region which means to make it in the active this this p should be at a higher potential so which means i have to provide a negative supply over here i have to provide a negative supply over here the basic is again the same you need to have the value of beta and the thing is you need to calculate the value of i reference so if you calculate the value of i reference what do you have what would be the case calculating the value of uh, i reference so we would just apply the kvl again so have a look i would just put this as a value of resistance r so i would have a negative r times i reference then again in the similar fashion negative of vbe and then i would have what is equal to negative of is equal to negative of vee i put it to this side i put it a plus vee equal to zero so which means that my i reference value comes out in this case to be vee minus vbe upon the value of r so have a look this is the case for this sort of a circuit this is another biasing scheme you could say similar similarly uh, we talked about what we talked about a plus supply in a ground now we supply a negative supply in a ground now both of them could not be grounded but both the positive and the negative could be applied at the same time and and let's say we do that let's say we do that so how do we do that if this is my vcc right this is this resistance this is this one this is this one and have a look have a look again i c is equal to i output i reference current is flowing through this resistor uh, through this resistor of value r uh, collector to base is shorted then you have this is a plus minus vbe this is a plus minus vbe also and i have this as a minus a vee so have a look again i would need the value of i reference so i reference would be what again let's say we start the kvl vcc minus r times i reference minus vbe and this is equal to minus of vee or i could say a plus of vee is equal to zero so in this case my i reference would come out to be what uh, vcc plus vee minus of vbe upon r so this is my other case this is my other case is that fine till here it should be so these are the different biasing schemes or you could say different forms that a question could take in the paper that a question could take in the paper is that fine it is so let me let me do what now if you see if you see the thing is that if you have used a resistance of value r you have to divide the current voltage divided by r similarly voltage divided by r voltage divided by r yes now what if i need the output current to be small I output is equal to i reference so if i need the output current to be small the reference current should also be small yes if let me write let me write if i need over here i would write if i need what that my output current is small so i would have to make the reference current small why because the output is is equal to i reference or if this beta value also comes into play then again it's approximately equal to i reference so if i make the i reference small for making i reference small have a look we see c is a constant value v is a constant value vb is a constant value i can play with the value of the resistance i would have to make the resistance large so if i make the resistance large 
the I reference would decrease and if I reference decreases what would happen I output would decrease so the same current that is applied as input is the same as that where we getting the at the output so have a look this is you know we are we getting the same I reference is equal to I output this could you could say a buffer we're getting the same current yes so anyways I'm coming to that but the thing is if the value of the resistance is large so in the integrated circuits in the integrated circuits your chip area is proportional to the value of the resistance if the resistance increases the chip area would increase and this would be the disadvantage you would need a, a, a larger volume of IC uh, so 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 that would that would be a disadvantage now if I talk about this if you think about it just think about it for a while for a minute that 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 you've got what that you've got a circuit where you know you're getting one current is at other at that side the other current is at this side what is the need if both the currents are same what is the need why do I need this circuit if I'm getting the same current as I'm applying hmm? I'm playing with the circuit that doesn't matter that doesn't matter actually yes that could be a valid question why am I studying this if, 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 I'm, if I'm getting nothing nothing else I'm applying a current I'm getting it back why so so another application I told you if I need an output current to be small but let's say I need it from a higher value of reference current if I need it from a higher value of reference current have a look let's say this is your VCC this is a resistance R this is an emitter this is a this is the second one these are grounded wait 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 just give me a second just give me a second this is grounded over here and this is your IC current which is I output current this one is your same I reference current this is shorted in this way you have a plus to minus VBE1 you have a plus to minus VBE2 now what am I saying is I am saying that if I need a low output current from a high reference current what would be the case what should be the case which means I am changing the current I am playing with the circuit I am playing with the circuit why because I am just getting a little bored I'm getting bored because I'm getting the same current as I'm applying right so so what do we do in this case what do you have to do in this case is that you apply a resistor over here you place a resistor over here let's say having a value re so if re is placed have a look you apply a kvl in this loop vbe1 now cannot be equal to vbe2 VBE1 cannot be equal to VBE2 and if V1 is not equal to VBE2 why because if you apply KVL so there has to be some drop across this resistance RE as well and if the two are equal where well, is the drop and the KVL is not satisfied again and in this case again I output would be not equal to I reference I output would be not equal to I reference is that fine it is used for obtaining so this is a circuit that is used for obtaining a low output current from a high input current so in this sort of a figure basically basically you are asked to find the value of the resistance re in this sort of figure you are basically fast to find the value of resistance re such that the output current is low you could understand it from this that this would be in the microampere range and the input current would be in the milliampere range if this sort of uh, values are given you understand that this is this circuit and you have to calculate the value of re so vbe1 is what vbe2 is what so you know that apply the kvl to the loop apply the KVL to the loop VBE1 minus VBE2 minus the output current times RE this is equal to 0 isn't it it is 
I output times R e is equal to V b e 1 minus V e 2 you could say. Yes, yes. Now you know the equations for this V t ln of something. So I just put the values. Let's say I put it I output times R e is equal to V t ln of I reference upon I naught minus V t ln of uh, I reference upon I naught and then you have I I I naught I output upon I naught I believe wait where is this we, we uh, I would just check it from here I out upon I naught I out upon I naught yes yes so you have an I naught upon I out upon I naught I naught is the reverse saturation current. So you take Vt common and ln of x minus ln of y is what? ln of x divided by y. So x divided by y would do what? I naught, I naught would cancel out. You would have a I reference upon I output. No, no, just wait, just wait. I would tell you. I output times Re is what? You have taken Vt common and then you have what? You have ln of what? Vt is common, so ln of x minus ln of y is what? ln of x minus ln of y is ln of x divided by y. So ln of x is what? I reference by I naught. Divided by what? Divided by this thing. So which means multiplied by I naught by I output. So I output I cancels out and you have I naught. I reference on I naught. Yes. So you have ln of I reference over a I not. Now what would be a case? You need to have R E. So the R E value would come out to be R E value has came out. R E value has came out that is V T upon what? Upon I output and I output ln of ln of what? I reference upon I not. And this is the value of I E. Now the ln value has to be greater than 0. The natural log value would be greater than 0. Why? Because I reference would be always greater than I naught. Yes. Yes, sir. So, I believe I finished this one over here. Why? Because we've seen the basic things. The basic thing is this one. The basic thing is this one. This is the basic of a current mirror circuit. This one. If you know this and all the configurations that I've told you so in the next video we'll be solving examples and you would just be solving it in minutes. You would just be solving it in within seconds. Within seconds. Right? Yes. So you could have positive supply, emitter grounded. You could have the collector grounded, negative supply over the emitter. Or you could have both positive supply and negative supply. And this circuit, this circuit that I've drawn with the red color, this one is known as Widler current mirror circuit. This one, Widler current mirror circuit. In which, what do we have? We calculate a low output current from a high input current. That is an application of the current mirror circuit. So I believe that is an enough explanation about the current mirror circuits. See you in the next video with some examples on it. Till then take care. Goodbye.